10 scariest places in the world for tourists. While some of us are happy to laze away a holiday on a beach with coconut water, others enjoy actively seeking out spooky locations or extreme activities that scare themselves. From an island full of snakes to the highest glass bridge in the world, if you are an adrenaline lover, this list is for you. Here are the 10 scariest travel destinations in the world. Are you ready to get scared and start screaming? Then hit the button below to make sure you don't miss out on cool videos like this. 500 foot high bridge. Seems like Chinese people love extreme bridges. You probably have heard about the one made of glass, which every year scares a lot of visitors. They get so scared that they can't even walk and sometimes their friends have to drag them. However, we managed to find something even better. Alert! This is not for the faint-hearted. This bridge is much shorter than its 300 meter long transparent cousin, but the experience is not less exciting. Every fearless who decides to walk on this bridge is protected by insurance. And this is not a superfluous measure as you will have to walk at an altitude of 200 meters and sometimes even jump. The distance between the beams that make up the bridge goes from 50 to 120 centimeters. The real question is, can you jump over a meter knowing that there is nothing under you but fog? Well, the video makes it look easier, but even the bravest people visiting this place sometimes give up their nerves to the altitude. One wrong move and you are already flying down, which is not a long flight though thanks to the safe line. By the way, if you are too scared to cross the bridge alone, you can also go in pairs. Also, there is a real risk of losing your shoes or phone and the insurance is not buying you a new one. X cream. When arriving in Las Vegas, you can play with your nerves not only by making a few bets in the casino or just enjoying the vivid nightlife with your friends in the city. If this is not your kind of entertainment and you want something more extreme, then here is the X cream, one of the most extreme rides in the world. Located on the roof of the Stratosphere Hotel, this device resembles a children's swing and a slide. Below it, there are 254 meters of buildings and a nice view of the city. But you probably won't be enjoying the landscape or taking selfies. The open trolley for 8 people fixed on the edge of the roof seems firm, but once the adrenaline lovers are inside, the car suddenly breaks down and seems like it will slide off the rails. But don't worry, the traction will stop it on time, raise the trailer and then throw you to the abyss again. I dare you not to scream. Snake Island, Brazil From Iguazu Falls to the most beautiful beaches on the north coast, there are some breathtakingly beautiful places in Brazil. Ilha da Queimada Grande, also known as Snake Island, seems like another one of those beautiful places. Well, at least at first glance. This place is so dangerous that it is inhabited and closed for visitors tours and for a good reason. This place is home for a lot of danger. It is estimated that there are at least one snake per square meter and about 4,000 of them are golden lenshead pit vipers. They are one of the deadliest snakes in the world. This place is feared even by local residents. So, unless you're in charge of fixing this lonely lighthouse, there is no reason for you to visit the place. But if you find yourself there accidentally, make sure to stay by the shore while wait for rescue. Volcano boarding Snowboarding is old school. The most extreme way to slide a slope is at a volcano. Yes, you heard me right! There are only a few places in the world to practice this sport. 
and one of them is at Cerro Negro in Nicaragua, in the department of Leon, where adrenaline lovers come down to the slope of this volcano that has a height that reaches 728 meters. This 150 years old volcano has erupted about 23 times already, and less than 20 years have passed since the last eruption. Riders describe that under the layer of cold black slag, you can even feel the heat of the Fury Mountain. However, there is no time to touch the pebbles. The boards for this sport are usually made of metal or wood, and the riders firmly grasp a rope as they descend the slope. The angle of inclination of the volcano is almost 45 degrees allowing you to reach the speed of 86 km per hour. Going down the hill at such a speed raises a bunch of fine dust and stone, which could irritate your skin, so it's best to keep your mouth shut. But they say the impression of volcano surfing is simply stunning. Would you take a ride? Furious Baco You all probably know how a roller coaster works right? So what could be surprising about this type of entertainment? Well, the Spanish attraction Furious Baco is unique in its own way. Until August of 2009, it was considered the fastest roller coaster in Europe. Although nowadays it has lost this title, the attraction still surprises fans of extreme adrenaline. Imagine accelerating from none to 135 km per hour in less than 4 seconds. This roller coaster is 850 meters long, in which riders are rushing, diving into tunnels, leaning dangerously and almost immersing themselves in the water of the lake. So make sure to take care of your feet and shoes! In addition, instead of the usual wagons, the creators constructed a slightly different moving device, and people actually fly through the air. Imagine how many shoes tourists leave in this place in its 15 years of existence. Zip World Velocity Flying over an abyss is already a scary activity. Now imagine flying with your head forward and your hands tightly pressed to your body. This attraction can be found in Wales in the UK. After the instructors carefully tie you with a bunch of safety belts and show you what to hold on to, in instance you will be flying like a rocket or a superhero if you prefer that. With the helmet you are also given a special flying costume and there won't be any walls to block the beautiful views you will get up there. The instructors offer everyone who wishes to fly over the mountains of Wales special glasses and to refuse them is a very bad idea. The truth is, on this attraction you can accelerate to 161 km per hour, so imagine how your eyes will feel with such a speed. However, the views are incredible. The whole flight lasts just about a minute and the distance exceeds one and a half kilometers. Said that, you can imagine how fast this flight can get. Cage of Death There are many attractions and things to do in Crocosaurus Cove in Australia, such as fishing for crocs from a platform or even holding a baby saltwater crocodile. However, the main attraction of this place is the Cage of Death, where you are allowed to enter the water in a transparent acrylic cage while crocodiles of over 5 meters long are swimming around you. The cage is operated by an overhead monorail and designed for one or two people, while inside of the cage you are suspended above the crux before the face-to-face -face encounter with the reptiles. Once submerged, you can dive to the bottom of the cage as the huge reptile swims curiously and hungry around you. But don't worry, the walls of this cage are 4 cm thick and it has an hexagonal shape to prevent the creatures from biting it. 
Regular feeding by the crocodile handlers encouraged them to move more. Although the swim inside the cage of death lasts only 15 minutes, for some that could be a lifetime of fear and adrenaline. By the way, in 2011, the cage cable broke and the cage of death hit the bottom of the tank. Being stuck in a broken cage with a croc nearby is most people's worst nightmare. But this fact just adds even more adrenaline to this attraction. What do you think? Would you enter this cage? Write a comment below! Terror Dactyl Adrenaline lovers will do anything, even travel around the world in search of some extreme activities. If you are one of these people, then we have the perfect place that will definitely make your hair straight. The attraction Terror Dactyl guarantees tons of adrenaline for your enjoyment. This insane place is located in the winds of Mountain Park Cave in Manitou Springs, Colorado. There you can enjoy an epic 200-foot freefall in the Williams Canyon. Well, this is definitely not for the faint-hearted people. To begin, you will be raised to a tremendous height on the edge of the cliff and then be launched at a speed of about 100 miles per hour. Despite the fact that it looks like a gnome type of dinosaur, the attraction is absolutely safe, as reliable anchorages will not let you slip out at the peak of the emotional stress. Also, during the extreme skying, you can enjoy stunning views, if you're conscious, of course. Roller Coaster Zipline A mix of a trolley and a roller coaster, this attraction is located somewhere in the forest of China, and the show attracts a lot of tourists. Okay, this unusual attraction doesn't have a death loop, but you can get a lot of adrenaline without it. Firstly, the speed of movement is considerably intense, and secondly, there are trees all around you and it feels like you're going to hit them. But don't worry, the track is surely calculated, so there is no crash into anything, and you have a solid helmet on your head. However, it's not easy to elude the brain, especially with the sudden climbs during the ride, which will be thrown up and down at high speed. The falls aren't very scary and the heights aren't very large, but the effect it makes is insane. It's very difficult to unlunch your hands and, in fact, you will need an insurance in order to ride this roller coaster. But just imagine what a great attraction! Royal Rush Sky Coaster Now let's talk about a mix of a roller coaster and a bungee jump. The result is the Royal Rush Sky Coaster, located in the state of Colorado, over the Royal George on top of the Arkansas River. Above the ground, the attraction is 30 meters long and over the canyons it is 350 meters. But we don't want to scare you with these terrible numbers. Truth is that those who want to get a portion of adrenaline are firmly fixed, then raised with the help of a special mechanism and… we Down they go! The most unexpected experience in this attraction is a freefall right above the gorg, but fortunately a strong cable keeps the adrenaline lovers alive and they swing over the abyss at a speed of up to 80 km per hour. Some say it's a less terrible version of classic bungee jumping. Well, I can only imagine how terrible bungee jumping is. Now, tell us, what are the scariest places you have ever been? Thank you for watching, everyone!